Greetings viewers, this is CP666 signing on for another computer video. As you can probably see, the NEC is, well, slightly torn apart at the moment. Um, not because anything broke, but because I'm going to be putting something new in there. Uh, my camera is right now, well, not quite. I guess it can come over here, grab it. Um, we have an IBM Travel Star 10 gigabyte drive which I would have to say is more suited for a machine like this. Um, and in fact, my backup image has completed. So that's perfect timing. Um, I've imaged the disk. We're going to see if it worked. Obviously, I'm going to do things the right way by ejecting the disk. And proceeding to pull it out. There's the drive that was in there. It's a 40 gigabyte Hitachi Travel Star that does have some bad spots on it. It has a couple pending sectors. That took a while to respond. I guess it's going to go on the floor then. All right, so let's get the new drive out and we'll have to see where we go from there. Alright, so the IBM is now in the Caddy. It is a GJSA210, 10 gigabyte drive. Let's see if it works. I don't know if it works or not. Okay, we can hear it, at least. The computer didn't respond. There we go. DJSA 210 ATA device. Um, all right, so we've got a couple of uh, drives partitions here. DJSA 210. Um, what I want to do is I want to, what is, why is that here? Restore this image to MBR, I believe it's disk one, yes. All right, so that should be all right. I'm gonna clone it. Continue, because I don't care. We can hear it working. This shouldn't take too long. I wonder if it has smart. I wonder if I could actually check that. Right, it's done. Fifty three seconds that took. Pretty quick. Close that. Um, all right, IBM DJSA. We've got a good drive. No errors. That's what I like to see. Over 20,000 hours of power on. UDMA 66. Parallel ATA apparently can't measure temperature. Um, I'm going to now go ahead and close this out, though. Shut it down. Take the once it, we shut it off, we're gonna take the drive out and put it in the NEC. Shouldn't be too difficult. Then we'll test the NEC. Right, the drive is in the caddy. Go ahead and turn this light on, just so that we can. Whoops. 
see things. I don't know what I just broke. Um, well, that wasn't important. Anyway, alright, so let's put the cover back on. We can put the cover back on. Maybe we can't put the cover back on. There we go. Put the cover back on, take the machine, put the machine back over here. Move that bouncing ball. It's over there. And yes, you just saw a couple of D-Link um, network. I believe those are actually switches, but they're only 10100, so... I haven't really tested them fully. I have no idea if they even work. Just more junk finds, basically as was this hard drive. So let's go ahead and test this out, see if this stupid thing actually works. It'll be interesting to see. Now it actually sounds like a Mitch computer. So let's see if it works or if I'm going to be reloading it. It looks like it still works, though. Yep, it still works. Should check. I don't know if we've got all 10 gigs. No, it's only 8.78. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. It's more than 8.78. It's 9.36. So we can see that we are getting all the memory, which is pretty good. I think that's pretty nice. We can go ahead and shut this back down again. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. This is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then.